Good evening, I'm Brett Baer. This is a special two-hour edition of Special Report. After four long days of furloughs and bad publicity, Republican lawmakers on Capitol Hill are searching for some way out of a standoff that, rightly or wrongly, is largely blamed on them. There are questions, however, about just how anxious President Obama is to put this behind him. Here is White House correspondent Wendell Gohler. With the government shutdown limiting selections in the White House mess, the president walked to a sandwich shop a block away where he denied a Wall Street Journal report that he's winning the spending battle by keeping government workers home. There's no winning when families don't have uh, certainty about whether they're going to get paid or not. The photo opportunity also seemed geared toward reassuring tourists that Washington is safe after yesterday's car chase that began at the White House and ended with a woman being shot by police at the Capitol. On the way back, Mr. Obama also addressed Republican claims that he won't negotiate. Nothing's currently planned, but uh, I'm always happy to talk to him and tell him, call the vote. And we can negotiate about a whole bunch of things. Late Thursday night, the White House announced Secretary of State Kerry will represent the U.S. at the APEC and ASEAN summits, canceling the rest of a presidential trip that had already been shortened earlier in the week. Press Secretary Jay Carney said in a written statement, quote, this completely avoidable shutdown is setting back our ability to create jobs through promotion of U.S. exports. But Republicans said with time now on his schedule, Mr. Obama should use it for talks. And they're not buying the claim that the White House doesn't feel it's winning politically. It is a perfect opportunity now that he's here that we can begin the negotiations. As the speaker laid out, senior White House administration says it doesn't matter how long we're shut down. I believe it does. On this day, the White House threatened to veto 10 House passed bills that would free parts of the government from the shutdown. What kind of a country pays, you know, uh, as they go, a la carte, for their you know, essential government functions? Certainly not the United States. But that's, that's what they are proposing. At the same time, Carney announced FEMA workers are being recalled from furlough to prepare for Tropical Storm Karen on the Gulf Coast. Republicans say they'll keep trying the piecemeal funding, and a day after an open mic caught Kentucky's two senators talking about sticking to their talking points, Republicans were doing just that. And the only message that we're getting from the White House, from the president, from the Democrats, Senator Reid, the majority leader, is one that says they're not willing to negotiate. That doesn't help solve our problems. Despite the president's claims that he is willing to negotiate, no meetings are scheduled, and Republicans plan to keep passing bills to reopen parts of the government, which the White House says will be vetoed if they somehow get through the Senate. Brett? Wendell Goller live on the North Lawn. Wendell, thank you.